today's video is going to be my Marley Award. No. Hey guys, welcome to the Marley Awards where we show the best products of the year. So in this video today, I'm just going to be showing you my favorite products of 2017 and these are just the products that I have loved most in 2017 and I'll be putting a little like thing down here that says like if they're a two-time winner this is their first time winning whatever so this is my only my second year doing this so that's the best they can have but we're going to be going category by category and I'm going to be telling you my favorites whether they're high in a drugstore and why I like them I hope you enjoy okay so um please forgive me I hope but basically, uh, there's a couple products I don't have because I love them so much, I ran out. So there's a couple products I'm out of right now, so, but I will talk about them. I will put a picture up here, and I will tell you guys why I like them so much. So to start off with primers, I actually don't have my favorite primer because I'm out of it. But my favorite primer is the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. And I know it's like, what? That's a drugstore. It's $6. But this is seriously the best primer I have ever tried. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So basically what it is, it's kind of a dimethicone like feeling primer. So it kind of feels a little bit thicker, but it melts right into your skin. And it literally is the most hydrating thing ever. So I put a moisturizer on and then I put this primer on and it just sinks into my skin, makes my skin feel so smooth, so soft, and whatever I layer on top of it, just, it doesn't, it, it helps it to not emph <laughs> emphasize texture. Um, and what am I doing? It helps um, the foundation I'm putting on top to not like sink into my dry patches because I'm really really dry around this area like right here around my mouth and my t-zone and then the rest of my face is normal so this primer just it's like a second moisturizer and it just becomes this beautiful soft part of your skin and it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel or look like you have like silicone on your face or anything it doesn't look like another layer it just melts right in and it will make your skin feel amazing also in the primer primer category elf has been killing it with primers this is the elf hydrating under eye primer so it's actually a peachy type tone which i don't think does anything i at first thought i was like maybe it'll cancel out some under eye no no doesn't cancel darkness but what this does do is help my concealer to look so much less crepey and gross and um so i can put pretty much any concealer on top of it with the exception of like a really gross like you know there's like really hard stick concealers like that are like really gross and I don't know why they exist except for those this is like a second um eye cream so it's going to hold on to your makeup while moisturizing your eyes and making your concealer look fabulous so for the next category this is the winner of found of the Marley Awards for foundation this I almost didn't mention I almost said I didn't have a foundation favorite this year but I know that's a lie because I definitely do. So this is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Foundation Stick. And I love this stuff. I have it in the shade Natural. And I am not wearing it today. I know. Um, but it's because it is my summer shade and it would look insane on me. So I'm not wearing it today for that reason. But the reason I almost didn't mention this is it's not available on e.l.f.'s website but they have one shade I believe available on all time. Not, I don't. I don't think it's natural. It's something. It might be a little darker than natural. But they're slowly phasing it out on Ulta. So if you want this and you want to take a chance on the shade, buy it from Ulta. If you are and you have to look at the shade, I'm not entirely sure. But here's the thing: you can find it in TJ Maxx. I have like two or three backups of this because it's my favorite, and they are discontinuing it. So that's really sad. But this is my favorite foundation. Of the year it looks super natural on my skin and coupled with the elf primer it is beautiful it doesn't emphasize any texture any dry patches it's amazing literally the best foundation i've tried although it's a stick foundation it just glides right on your face um and yeah it actually looks fresh pretty much all day and it looks like a second layer of skin and i'd say this has medium medium verging on full it's like the lighter end of full coverage and you can actually build this up if you have oily skin i'm not sure how well this would work for you because it is really emollient but if you have dry skin or um normal skin this would be a godsend to you i am obsessed with it so far this video has been elf 
I am well aware of that. But not for long because this little bunny stole the show for me this year and this is the Tarte Shape Tape in Light. I know you've heard every YouTuber ever talk about it except Jessica Braun. I know, not your favorite. But this is actually my favorite concealer because I have the darkest under eyes of anyone I've ever met. Oh my gosh, they are so dark even though I'm very young. They're so dark. I don't know why. Even Benefit Erase Paste hasn't been able to quite like tackle them and I just I just don't understand. But this is the closest thing I found and I just dropped it because it wouldn't be a video without Marley dropping things and picking them up with her toes. So anyways, this is a beautiful concealer. It has a huge applicator. I got and I refer I believe Emily Noel 83 referred to this as a buck foot because it's not a doe foot, it's a buck foot. Huh? But um yeah, it has a really big applicator, and what I do is I don't apply it, I don't do the huge triangle because this can look a little bit dry because it is such a high coverage concealer, but I just do it right where I need it and I just pinpoint it. Uh, some people only dot it, but I think that's that's not enough for me. So I actually do have to um, kind of swipe it where I need it, and then I will take a flat foundation brush, which is the only thing I use these for. I hate flat foundation brushes, but this is my new use. And I will blend that out pretty well. So, and I'll kind of avoid the target areas like when I'm blending because the more you rub over those, the more coverage it takes away. This isn't something you want to build up if you have dry skin because it is going to look horrible. And even this can look a little bit dry by the end of the day, but I'm willing to sacrifice the look and of like it looking a little bit dry for the amazing coverage it has because I haven't found anything that beat it in the powder category we have another elf product i know it's not all elf i promise i promise this is the elf um perfect finish hd powder in sheer it's just this white powder um and i'm actually almost out of it i'm literally going to buy a new one like right now but um <laughs> the reason i love this so much is it is so finely milled that you just tap a little into the cap and you just take your wet beauty beauty sponge and i bake my under eyes with this so this is basically, um, it's not going to be like a really thick powder, like Cody Airspun, you can like really layer up under there and it'll like, like look baked or whatever, I don't know. But because this is so light, it's really hard to get it to be like a thick white, you know, under your eyes. But um, you just kind of pat it on with a sponge and then wait five minutes or so and wipe it off. And it keeps your under eyes looking flawless for all day and you can use this on your face as well if you're really fair like I am. If you have darker skin, I'm not sure how this would be, and also not sure how it would be under, like, as, like, with, like, flashback and everything. So, I'm honestly not sure, like, under those conditions. But for everyday use, it's great baked, or you can just dip a brush in here and set your under eyes with it, and it will look amazing. And your under eyes, like, if you actually feel them after you use it, they're just smooth. Like, it just is smooth and amazing. Okay, so, now we are going to do brows. These are the e.l.f. Lock on liner and brow creams. This is what I'm wearing in my brows today for like the tail end of it of my brows And I have two shades here. I have light and light brown and medium brown And light brown is what I use most of the time But if I want to draw her brow I picked up medium brown just to kind of see like the shade difference The reason I love this is this literally lasts all day. This lasts so long. It's waterproof even though it doesn't I don't know that it claims to be I'm not sure but regardless this is totally pretty much waterproof. I've worn this in the pool I wore this to an amusement park one day and like sweated and I got rained on and this was the only thing that survived and it is so so amazing it is a little bit more of an emollient pomade but seriously if you have no tail to your brows and you need a lot of filling in use this you will thank me later this is the Tarte the brow architect and of course this is high-end but it is totally worth it I love it it will last you forever um not forever but it will last you a long time it has one of those triangular shaped tips to it um and i believe the new one just has clear brow gel at the end i don't know i have the old version where it has a has the pencil the um spoolie and then it has like concealer or whatever i don't know i never really used the concealer but this is in fair to light and this is what i use in the front of my brows perfect color i would say this is more like light brown um, verging on medium this isn't fair so if you're blonde don't buy this buy like a blonde shade this is not blonde 
But this is what I use in my brows, and I use it at the front of my brows, and I can just kind of go do 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 with the pencil, and it makes the front of my brows, and it is awesome. This has the best staying power of any brow pencil I've ever tried. It doesn't have nearly as long staying power as the e.l.f. product does, but this is going to, um, when it wears off, it'll wear off naturally, and it just blends in with your brow hair beautifully, and it's amazing. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer, and this is again from the drum from the drugstore Marley Words. Use words. Um, and basically, you just take the tiniest amount and blend it all over your eyelids, wherever you're gonna put eyeshadow. And if you got any concealer on your eyelids and it's kind of starting to like crease, like in getting all up in your crease and getting all creasy and stuff, this actually blends it in. So this will take the concealer and blend it throughout your eyelid. So you get a little bit more coverage. So this will help cover veining a tiny bit. And it holds onto your eyeshadow all day. And it doesn't look drying. Um, Urban Decay's Primer Potion looks super drying on my eyes. Even though it holds onto my shadow really well. This holds onto shadow even better. And um, will make your eyeshadow look amazing for hours upon hours. So amazing so next is the best eyeshadow palette of the year and this is the naked heat palette by urban decay i know it's hard to see it i feel like it's getting like really washed out by my lighting but whatever so this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette and i'm obsessed with warm tones i'm wearing it on my eyes today I think I have Chaser, Sauce, Lobo, he, Low Blow, He Devil. This is gorgeous. And a lot of people say that Chaser, Sauce, and Low Blow all look the same. And that He Devil, Cayenne, and En Fuego all look the same. But they don't. They all have slightly different undertones. And the reason I love this so much, I think, is A. I mean, it's, it's warm toned and it's all amazing. And I love warm tone colors. But... One reason is that these shadows, I think, are the creamiest mattes Urban Decay has ever put out. I have all four of their Naked palettes, and, and these are the creamiest mattes they've ever, ever put out. They're so blendable, with the exception. I want you guys, if you buy this palette, please be careful of this. Ounce is, it looks like it's going to be a matte, nice shade to sh set your, um, like, brow bone with. But it has, like, the weirdest little, like, shimmer, so it's not a metallic cream and it's not a matte. So, honestly, I avoid ounce at all costs. It It's just, no. It has, like, a weird metallic to it, so it makes it look weird and crunchy on my eye, and I, I don't know what's wrong with it. And then, the only two that aren't the creamy, wonderful matte formula I'm talking about is Enfuego and Ashes. Cayenne is a little bit of a drier matte, but that doesn't bother me. It still blends as well as all the rest, but Enfuego and... um ashes are both like a little bit of a drier matte so um yeah so these aren't in my opinion as pigmented as the rest but in fuego i don't that's not a problem i've actually used this as a liner before not a problem it doesn't matter that it's a little drier and in a swatch it looks not as pigmented still so looks as beautiful on the eyes as the rest so don't be alarmed when you touch en fuego and it not as creamy as the rest However, Ashes doesn't blend. Does not blend. I use this either all over the lid it, when it doesn't need to be like blended or whatever, or as a liner because it cannot, I cannot blend it into the crease. Um, it just doesn't blend with all the shades and uh, like all the other shadows in this. I don't know. There's something wrong with it. So, Ounce and Ashes are the only two that I'm kind of like, just no. Ounce is personal preference and ashes I think is the only dead in this palette but regardless a lot of times I know I'm making it sound like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't like it I just didn't like anything better than this this is seriously I want to use every day of my life I love it these colors are just gorgeous and I honestly I know what people's gripes are with this that you can't get a ton of looks out of it but I can I can do very I can do a couple different varieties of like how I use each of these shades Check out my three looks one palette um, tutorial I posted back in like July on this channel to see a couple examples. But I can work in cooler colors. I can work different things into this palette. Honestly, it's beautiful. I love it all. No two shades look alike like everybody thought. And I'm actually obsessed with it. So for single shadows, this is Stila's Chinois. And so basically what this is, it's just a matte kind of yellowy 
creamy color and you're just like i see that in every palette like why why would you put this in a favorites video well because seriously this is like i don't know it's like a creamy matte with coverage to it so why would you need coverage in an eyeshadow well when you set your eyeshadow primer down because i'll put my milani eyeshadow primer on set it down with this and go over top with say like a palette like the naked heat also when you're blending your shadows out, if you blend like a too, little too far over here, if something's not blending, all you have to do is take this on a fluffy, kind of like denser brush and just blend it out and it will cover up eyeshadow mistakes. You can use it um, to sharpen up liner. You can, it's literally, you can use this for whatever you want. It's like a pressed eyeshadow concealer. It's, I don't even know. It's amazing. The next eye product is Pixie by Petra and the Silky Eye Pen. This, and I have this in... Um, 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 I, I guess Black Noir. This is the creamiest, blackest, um, longest wearing eye pencil you will ever try. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. It's so creamy and all I have to do is kind of like touch it to my lash line and just go do, 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 do. And then it will like make a line. It's, I don't even know what they put in this, but it's the best. The best, the best, the best eyeliner I have ever tried. And I'm not a big eyeliner per person. So this literally just changed my game and I am obsessed with it. I'm not wearing it today because I totally forgot to put it on, but whoops. <laughs> just take my word for it in this watch. It's great. The last eye product for today is the Mascara Award. And this award goes to the CoverGirl Supersizer Mascara. This is so good. It has kind of an interesting wand so it's like no bristles on one side and like bristles on the other I don't know it's like a rubber bristle wand that mine's not performing the best because I need to buy another one because it's literally out but regardless of that this is from the drugstore and it is awesome so it just builds legs on your lashes so you can like load on a little bit of product with the flat side and then brush it through with the comb side and I know it sounds gimmicky but this is the best mascara I have ever tried and I've tried a lot so and it just builds and builds and builds. It doesn't look clumpy with like a second coat and you can just build it up and it, it's, oh my God. So moving on to like, say like bronzer. Let's do, let's do bronzer next. So this is the Physicians Formula Matte Sculpting Trio Highlight and Contour Palette. And it just looks like this. I've hit pan on the bronzer shade right here. I don't know if you can see that. But then it has a like a really gray contour and then a like a kind of banana colored uh, pattern right here. So the reason I'm putting this in bronzer and I'm not doing a separate for contour is because they're both in here and they would both win the award. So the bronzer is extremely um, warm actually. I didn't think I would like it. But it just builds up and you can, I'm wearing it today and it just makes like my temples look so much more like sun kissed and I'm under you know two really bright studio lights right now so um it kind of is washing me out but I think I'm still keeping you know a little bit of the tan um look with this bronzer and it is so beautiful and if you are darker than me I think this could still work for you um it, it's just gorgeous I will just bronze up with a kind of a denser brush on my temples bring it down a little bit and I, you never look orange don't contour with this but Temples, jawline, neck, decollete, beautiful. Um, and this just blends out like a dream. At first you're like, is this gonna blend? But then just, you know, swirl your brush around a little bit. Blended, awesome, awesome, awesome product. And then you have the contour, which is also, for this is gonna win the contour award. So this is a beautiful gray contour pow powder from the drugstore. And I think it's just amazing that it's from the drugstore because it's so gray and it just sculpts your face beautifully but if you are a newbie at um contour pick this up because you can't really go overboard you would have to like keep building and building and just you know like it just gives you the most subtle definition while being gray so you don't look orange and then yeah so the formula is on these is drier but that means they don't kick up a ton of fallout and they just just glide on the face music. The um, little brightener shade that they call highlight, it's not a highlight, it doesn't have shimmer in it, but it can go under your um, 
like to set your concealer this is good so if you're traveling you have your bronzer highlight or under eye setting powder and contour all in one okay so i have a second bronzer award this goes to the laura geller um bronzers i have two shades here one is in this sunset glow palette and i think this is just their like original like medium shade or whatever and then this is their fair shade so i have both of those shades i like this uh one right here better if you're a little bit fairer than me i think you will like this but they have the most natural kind of glow to them um and so they have like they do have a little bit of shimmer and they are a little bit warm so don't contour again don't contour with these but um these just make you look sun-kissed natural just swirl a fluffy brush in these bronzer shades and just go do 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 all over your perimeter of your face and you just look sun-kissed and amazing so highly recommend laura geller also took the blush award for me to, um this year i have three shades of her blush baked blush and brighten and all three of them blew me away um i'm wearing apricot berry today which is this kind of mauve shade. I have a mini of it. But then I also own Tropic Hues, which is kind of like a warmer, more corally type, um, you know, and type blush. And then we also have this color right in here from the Sunset Palette. Again, um, I honestly like all of these colors equally. I mean, just because it's a color preference, I really do enjoy this one. But all of these are gorgeous. The mauve more apricot colored one, I love. And they're all gorgeous. These blend like a dream. They stay on. They have a little bit of glow. So they just look healthy and fresh. And so you don't really look like you're wearing tons and tons of blush. Like, you can't really see it on my cheeks. And, like, it's not identifiable as blush. It just looks like I have, like, a natural little flush to my face. And I'm obsessed. Okay, so now for highlight, I actually have it in the Z palette. This is by Ofra and this is their blissful highlighter I just have like the pan here it actually looks like it'd be a little bit too dark for me but it is the most gorgeous um kind of and actually in a swatch you're like new no, new no, new no. if you have light to medium or medium or darker skin skin tones you will love this if you're lighter than me I say stay away but um yes so this is the most blinding highlight. I have it on lightly today, but you can build it up and like blind people or you can just have it look like a natural kind of like bronzy highlight. I'm not one for bronzy highlights, but this has literally changed the game for me because it's just so reflective. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So if you're looking for a good highlight, pick up Blissful by Ofra because, oh my God it's beautiful and it never looks like chunky or glittery on this face it has pretty good staying power like for a highlight and you can use it on the eyes and it looks like kind of like bronzy and just like rosy or you can use it on your face and it will be amazing all right so these are the mark jacobs um lipsticks they're their la creme la mark lip creme Jeez. And I have six shades here. These are all minis. And if you want to try this out, snag a kind of like a gift set. They have their, I think it's like called Cat's Meow or something like that. Um, it's their little set of five of these. And seriously, this formula is amazing. They have this beautiful tip. So it's like kind of squared off. And you can just go boom, boom, boom. And line your lips. And these are the only... Um, lipstick that even in a shade as light as kiss kiss bang bang this will last you all stinking day you literally like at lunchtime if you just like you can touch it up a little bit or you cannot you know it's fine it will last you until you get home and when these wear off they wear off very evenly and you don't get a weird ring around your mouth so i literally trust these with my life so you can just um I basically apply them like I can flip them around and then like kind of line my lips and then I apply them and then I blot off on a tissue and I'm good to go so these are basically end up being matte even though they are kind of a cream formula but these are the richest lipstick ever and they have the best staying power ever and if it, lipstick will stay and it will look fresh on my mouth all day I'm in. so then for liquid lipsticks we have the covergirl outlast um liquid lipsticks that come with 
a lip balm and then the color so um these are are the liquid lipsticks of the year with the best staying power and they i'm wearing um the shade 547 today and it is gorgeous and if they start to look a little bit crunchy you pop on the balm that comes with it and i actually love these especially for the balm because you can pop this balm over any liquid lipstick and it just makes it look fresh instantly but it doesn't like pick it up like you won't have like liquid lipstick smear and it doesn't like re-liquify the liquid lipsticks like putting like chapstick or like a gloss over it would um so yeah it doesn't like re-liquify and make it like slide off your mouth suddenly and make it into like a weird consistency so if you use the balm and you um use the product together then you will have a lip look that lasts all day now, these do dry your lips out a little bit, but they're not as bad as, like, some other liquid lipsticks that I've tried. So, I highly recommend that you pick up these. Alrighty, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this big final wrap-up of all the best products of 2017. Go make your shopping list because these are all products you need right now. I am so glad you watched this video to the end. Comment down below if you stayed with me. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know down below what is your favorite product of the year or favorite products. I don't judge. And um, thank you for watching this video. Really? Did I mess it up? I may have ripped you off. You got hangers? I'm sure I have hangers. That's the kind I want. You guys ripped me off. I know you did. I didn't take your hangers. Somebody did. It must have been the hanger fairy because I don't no, even do not. laundry. No, it's not. Well, I don't even do laundry, That's so really how would I have taken your hangers? Mm, hmm. One. Don't trip over my cord to my lights. I scored one hanger. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video, and I will see y'all later. Bye!